good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Hello, my lovelies, my lovelies, my lovelies. How y'all feeling? Y'all look good. Y'all look good. Y'all looking new. Y'all look <laughs> Y'all look good. But um yeah, by the title and by the message, I mean by the yeah, thumbnail, all that. Y'all already know what video this is. Girl talk, girl talk. Let's let's chat my my girlies. Um first topic of okay. self love. So boom. Me personally my I feel like the best way to deal with like loving yourself and for to love yourself you have to find yourself to respect yourself I mean to love yourself you have to respect yourself like I feel like show your body love and your body gonna show love to you so like me especially like when I when I was younger now I'm not saying I'm like old and stuff but like especially when I was younger like sixth grade until sixth grade I was like really struggling with like self confidence or not even sixth grade maybe like seventh grade and be on and off you feel me so i feel like you just have to like know who you are first like know who you are know your flaws know all this and but don't like dwell on it just be like love yourself for that flaw like and then when because sometimes people will pick out your insecurities like some people will pick at your insecurities and that will make you feel even more insecure. But if you already acknowledge the fact that, okay, cool, like, this is a flaw that I don't necessarily like about myself. But at the end of the day, flaw and all, I'm still that big. Like, you know, like, I feel like that's how you just gotta look at yourself. Like, yeah, like, because in all reality and all honesty, nobody's, hold on, y'all. Like, I feel like if you know your flaws and things you don't like about yourself and then learn to love that about yourself like you'll be straight like me personally like i had i had like a lot of insecurities but i looked at them and was like okay cool like this it is what it is you're not gonna change that like you can't change that. i mean you can but like come on now when i can just work to love that and yeah finding out who you are and find out who you are not just like on the physical aspect but on the inside too like Find your identity in Christ and you know, find your identity in life and find out who you are. So, and you'll learn to love that. And then also be like, I don't know, reading the Bible too, like, God says that you are beautifully and wonderfully like Affirmations, look at yourself in the mirror and be like, damn, I have a mirror right here. Damn, I'm that girl, you're that Like, and then just take yourself like, it's okay. Like, like when I be calm, I be like, it's okay. Like, it's okay, relax. Like. Everybody, everybody don't have it always together. Like, it's okay. You're going to be okay. God is, or, you know what I'm saying? I believe in God. So, God's going to bring you through this. Like, you'll be okay. You feel me? So, but, and then, and then to tell myself, like, if nobody else loves you, I love you. And you got to show yourself that too. Like, do things for yourself. Like, make sure you up keeping yourself. Like, nigga bathe. But like, 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 if you're not taking care of yourself, even physically, then of course you're not gonna feel like you're that because like you're like you're nasty but yeah just take care of yourself like love yourself enough love your like when you start to love yourself you're gonna want to do shit for yourself like damn like i deserve that like you know what you deserve know your worth like i deserve this in the third because i know i'm this in the third like i'm a great person so i should do this for myself to let myself know that i love you self i love you you know what i'm saying like that how to stay motivated. So, I don't know. When y'all figure it out, let me know. I just wait. <laughs> I feel like I, the best way to stay motivated is to um write down, like, your goals and your motivation. And write down, okay, write down your goals and then why. Like, why, like, why do I, why should I do this? Like, if we don't have your why, then it's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like self-doubt and doubt and all that stuff is just gonna come into play and it's gonna be like ah you feel me so like keep um just keep yourself motivated you feel me so it's like i mean not keep yourself motivated i'm trying to tell you how to stay motivated like and then listening to um more motivation like watching people that doing stuff like or looking at things about things that like you want to do with just like i feel like everybody has somebody that's doing something that 
they want to do like you've seen somebody like me personally y'all know well clearly i'm doing youtube so i've i see i watch youtube so it's like listening to people that are doing it like that's how you can stay motivated that's one way to stay motivated writing down like um having a schedule like that is the best way when i tell y'all i be so like on top of my sh now like i be like okay cool like get up like I know I know I know I know I know I know I want this I, I need to get this goal like because I like I have my own reasons I have my own personal reasons that's why I feel like you have to have a reasoning behind whatever you do if you don't have no reasoning then you're not going to be motivated know your reason and let that be your motivation or you can let naysayers like be a motivation because sometimes people get to talk and maybe you motivate me baby because I, me personally I like to prove wrong so like just find your why as to why I'm doing this like why why am I putting this much work because your brain, your brain is going to start doubting like it's going to be like why like when you get tired why what's the point what is even the point you have to you have to have something to reply to that voice to when you're going to get up and keep going you feel me you try to gain confidence um okay i feel like this is back to self-love like confidence i don't want to say fake it till you make it but like fake it till you make it like the more you feel like if you're not if you're not even necessarily feeling confident about something, if you look like you're feeling confident and you're like acting like it's like like okay, I'm, I'm missing the question. I'm missing the question. What's the question again? How to gain confidence. How to gain confidence is to like the best way I would say is to learn like to love yourself, like and respect yourself and you're gonna feel better about yourself. And to just sit up straight, head held high, like, yes, baby, I'm her, like, I'm her, I'm going to, like, walk like I'm her, I'm going to talk like I'm her, because I am her, like, and then that's just going to be the confidence level that you get, like, when you love yourself, you're going to feel better about yourself, so it's like, and that, comes, I feel like confidence just comes in with loving yourself, so once you love yourself, you're going to feel confident in yourself, you feel me, so it's like, and that's what, that's what everything you do, like, like for example like i know i just had an interview i know who i am so it's like and i know like my flaws and this and the third like and i know what i'm capable of doing so it's like girl you got this like you're like just going there like you like you own the place like walk into every room like you're that girl because you have to believe in your mind like you have no i'm not saying in your mind but you genuinely have to believe and nobody else believe you need to believe you're that bitch. like you just have to believe you that girl and you're going to walk like you that girl, talk like you that girl, feel like you that girl. You feel me? So it's like, just, it's all about like, a, like a, how you portray yourself. Sit, sit up straight, head held high. Don't be looking down. Don't be slouching. Don't be, oh my God, I'm scared. Like, no, like you look like, you feel me? Like, yeah, that's how I would say. It. I don't know. I hope, I hope that answers the question. How to deal with the friendship breakup. How to deal with a friendship breakup. Um. Hold on, guys. Never mind. Okay, never mind. She's calling back, guys. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Um, how to deal with shit. How to deal with friendship breakup. Um, I feel like if you're in the wrong, then I don't know how to help you. But if you're not in the wrong, and <clears throat> if you're not in the wrong and you know it just hurts you like or whatever and this is your long time friend i feel like time heals all so you just gotta let time fly by and you know try not to make the same mistake again and don't spend too long just thinking like oh my god like how could i not have known this person was weird and this and the third like you know what I'm saying? Or it was just because, like, or even if they went weird and they just, like, just stopped talking to you out of nowhere on some stuff, like, then just be like, I mean, I feel like time got to heal that. Time heals all wounds and you'll eventually get over it. But don't be texting their phone. Don't be trying to blow their phone. Don't be trying to ask for no explanation. Don't be trying to do none of that. That's low-key embarrassing, like, and I did that before, so I can speak on it. But, like, don't do all that. Just... Just chill, relax, you feel me? Don't do all that. So, yeah, and pray for better friendships and thank God that all things are being revealed for the better for you. And boss up, nigga. Boss up. That's my, just boss up, you feel me?
how to better communicate in a relationship. Um, I really don't know. I really don't have tips on communication skills. Just talk. Like, I feel like a lot of people have trust issues, especially in this generation. Um, I don't know why the whole generation got trust issues. Trust issues. Um, millennials and the two, the last two generations before us had had to do something to fuck up or something. Cause I don't understand what the problem is. But, um, I feel like communicating. I feel like. Um, cause I feel like a lot of people have a hard time communicating because it's like opening up about certain stuff be like traumatic or type stuff for, I don't know, but if just trust, like learn to trust yourself, learn to trust yourself and once you trust yourself and listen to yourself and know that like, okay, cool, like, and trust yourself about opening up to people like, okay, like. If I open up to this person, like, will it go bad? Like, ask yourself that, like, and, and listen to your gut, yo. Listen to your body. Your body always going to tell you if you should or shouldn't do something, like, simple. Like, your body is going to, like, if you, if you, if you genuinely, like, chill, like, you literally feel sick to your stomach because you're going to open up to somebody about something, maybe you shouldn't do it. But if you feel like, okay, like, genuinely, like, we've been cool, we've been friends, or we've been together, whatever the case may be and I really feel like this would help our um friendship or relationship so for you to better understand me and me to better understand you and this could help our relationship grow better then you should just simply just like okay listen to me to the best like I need you to listen and try your best to understand me here's what's going on with me here's what happened and blah 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 like you know what I'm saying or even arguments like relax calm down like, I don't know I'm I um, I feel like, I don't like I argue. I'm going to think. Do I argue? I feel like I don't argue. Sometimes, also, like, check your tone in with people when you're talking to, communicate, when you're talking to people and communicating. Because it's not all about just communicating. Like, it's about communicating, but, like, how you sound when you're communicating is a big thing. Talk, talk to people calmly, correctly, nicely, and... Or like, I don't know, respectfully, simple, simple, like just have enough respect and talk to them in a certain type of way and check your tone even when you're upset. Like, cause I feel like when people be upset and they talk, don't, don't try to communicate with nobody when you're mad or nothing like that because it's just not going to go right. So calm down, check your tone and check yourself and then come together and be like, hey, I feel like this was really childish. We should just talk, listen to each other and try to our best to understand each other, period. Like mature, like mature people. How to deal with the breakup. Cry. <laughs> Cry and pray and um get God to fix it, I feel like. And then once you get done crying and talking to God and just like, I feel like you gotta cry to work through stuff or you gonna have to like you have to feel it. like if you try to like just oh I don't feel nothing like the, you like you never gonna get past it. Like you gotta go through the storm to get out of it, you feel me? Like, I don't know why I did that. Guess it was too long, but you have to um dang, let me fix it. You have to work through, like, snows. You can't just, like, go around it. Like, you're not finna, like, say, this is not, like, I'm not finna, you know, long with this but, like, you have to work through stuff. You can't just try to, like, bottle it and take shelter on You feel me? Like, walk through it and get through it for you to come out better. You feel me? So, I feel like, allow yourself to feel all the emotions and go through the phases of a breakup and then um but don't stay there too long like and then at the end boss up my nigga like boss up like at the end of the day you're a boss i'm a boss we're bosses so it's like just boss up like especially like if it was a bad breakup i feel like the best the best revenge is to boss up like and do better for yourself like and focus on yourself love yourself and you know do better for yourself you feel me like that's the best way and to learn and find happiness and peace with yourself like not no boy and or i don't know like or girl like just focus on yourself you feel me and love yourself and boss up and get to your achieve your goals achieve your step step top of your shit you feel me boss up and make that nigga 
or that girl for the ones that like girls make them like damn like shit fuck i should like damn you feel me <laughs> you feel me because that's how i look at it gotta deal with the fake friend Snip, snip, ho. Snip, snip, ho. Um, protect your peace. That's like my big thing. Protect your peace. If it's really stressing you that much, like, you know, cut them off. We won't deal with fakes. Like, we won't deal with fakes. Like, you want your friend to be real with you. Like, um, fake friends, just cut them off and protect your peace and keep it going. Never be afraid to be alone. Stand alone, baby, because honestly, truly, that still be more peaceful than having. A bunch of friends truly like it's okay to be alone it's okay it's okay to not have a friend like cut her off don't make no friendship and i know a lot of people like and that's i feel like a lot of stuff comes back to self-love so if you love yourself you're not gonna have no problem being alone by yourself because you love yourself you feel me like you can find you your own entertainment so like freak cut her off cut him off cut the friend off Lose your virginity. i know nothing about that <laughs> I know nothing about that. Um, I can speak on from experiences that I've heard, but freaking, I feel like for me personally, I'm a wait. I've heard the stories. I, I'm, I'm more of a like listener. I let everybody else try stuff out before I try it out. And hey, I've heard, I've heard enough survival stories from friends, from family, from all that i'd rather not so like i feel like if you feel like you just have to know yourself if you feel like you're ready do it but don't be no first of all don't be easy don't just look to know anybody that's not cool that's not cute um just just be careful with that um what time is it my video for upload okay yeah just just to be careful be cautious about who you give your body to don't be easy, like, because not since I say niggas don't even be, niggas just be wanting just that, and that's your virginity, and you worth more than that, and that you only have one virginity, you know what I'm saying, like, you can't, you can't lose that but once, so be, like, don't just be ready to just give it away, because every single, and I'm gonna be 110% honest, every single body in my life, I'm gonna say friend-wise, like, in my inner circle, not adult-wise, because People my age that talked to me that came to me, every single last one of them done regretted who they lost their to. Like, everybody done regretted who they lost their stuff to. And I would tell y'all the stories. Like, one, friends, I love y'all. But one, like, no, I'm gonna just keep it in general. Like, every the majority have treated them horribly after they got it. Like, after they got what they wanted from them, that was it. That was it. They either went to another girl. They either majority of them cheated, or started talking about you badly, or or just ghosted you, or whatever the case was. Like it's not. It hasn't been no. I haven't heard no good experiences from like anybody losing a. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's different for a female than it is for a boy, in my opinion. And well, yeah, it's different for a female than it is for a boy. In my opinion, I don't really know how true it is, cause, but I'm just going on based on what I've seen. Niggas don't care that much about, it. well, majority. So some do, some want to hold it tight, some don't want to just lose it on anybody. But majority don't give a freak. They just want to help something, and if you that something for the moment, then you that something for the moment. You feel me? So that's what it is. So don't rush to do that. Just take your time. Shoot, like that's me personally. But if you feel like you're ready, do your thing, twin. Um, but I believe in soul ties. So when you do, don't be effing this person, that person, that person. Try to be in a relationship with that person so it can just be that one person. You know what I mean? And how to get over an ex. That's going to be the last question. How to get over an ex. Um, I don't know. I'm still stuck on my ex. So No, um, how to get over an ex. Again, I feel like time, time, you got a lot of time pass by and go through the motions of all this and that, like go through the motions of a breakup and heal from it. Um, wait, get over it. How do you get over somebody? I don't know. How do I get, because I don't really be in relationships. How to get over somebody. I feel like me, how to get over somebody is 
how I get over people is a transformation. I do like a 360 and like get myself together and get it all together and then stand on business in such a way where it's like like stand on business in such a way where it's like yeah like you see that I'm not stunning you but I feel like you just boss up and make sure you take care of yourself and then make sure you're being seen like well blocking him works too I like you can block somebody but you can block somebody there's there's multiple ways depending on who you are you can block them but me I was like so you don't have to see what they got going on but I like niggas to see what I got going on you feel me like see that I'm doing amazing without you my nigga like I'm great and even if I'm not great you're gonna think I'm great you feel me like that's lit source y'all like yes this is this is how it is get like for me I would literally like hide all like I will like you know how like, you can mute people's stuff on Instagram? I will mute all your stuff. Like I will mute all your stuff and then post just me. Just me. Like a whole bunch of me and me doing stuff like me supposedly living a great life. And then once that like then it's gonna be like damn like she's doing great. She's doing amazing. Like she actually seems happier than she was with me. You feel me? And then like Yeah. Like then when it when a nigga try to come back, you gotta stand on business in the hardest way. Like I don't care about none of that. Like stand on the business the hardest way. And then I don't know, just just stand on just stand on just stand on your tan. Like once you get great, don't let them come back. You feel me? Like don't let them come back. And then you're gonna feel like yes, I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. You see, I'm that bitch. But I'm still that bitch. I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch now. And you're too late. Miss the wave, baby. That's that's my advice, okay? But I feel like that's it. I'm tired. Or I'm not tired, but I'm gonna um talk to my best friend. But I love y'all so so much. Um 2024. My year. Um and it's still gonna be my year. Yeah, every year's gonna be my year. So yeah, I love y'all so much. Thank you guys for watching. Kisses, laters, and I love you. Goodbye. <laughs>